got the tanks all welded now. I'm going to put some water in, make sure I've got no leaks. That was going to be the outlet of the pump. I changed it and put one in there and just thought it would just be a blank off. That's a turbo drain, obviously the filler. Oh. Looks like we're full up to, up to there anyway. Look at you sloppy bastard, John. John, you're messy. You're all your messy. Right. Right, we'll leave it at that. It would appear to be dry anyway. I want to tell now I've got water everywhere. Nothing pissing out. I suppose that's a good, a good start. In one of the early jet videos, I had a bit play around with the oil pump, and we decided that the oil pump put out way too much fluid for the turbocharger to stand without having a pressure relief valve in. So I'm actually going to make a pressure relief valve out of these fittings I've got here. I use as much stock stuff as I can. That's 10 mil steel pipe into there from the pump. I'm going to put a ball on the end of there in the spring. <clears throat> I'm going to bore this out to be a housing for the spring. That will be an adjuster pool goes down, probably throw a uni like that, then I can use that as a gland. And there'll be a fit and comes out of the side that returns the oil back to the oil tank. That'll seal in there, no problem at all, and a little bit of leakage won't do any harm. I've got several springs of varying lengths and strengths to get the pressure right. I'm going to leave it nice and long so I can play around with different length springs just so we'll get it the way I want it. And there will be a, an adjuster handle on so I can set the pressure up as the oil starts to get thin uh, once it heats up. So I think that's 3 8 BSP, so we'll drill one end, tap it 3 8 BSP, and then just sort of see how it goes from there. I've made these before. Uh, for fuel, fuel pressure relief valves and the work fine. Using standard bits of fitness just saves a little bit of time. Right. This is 316 stainless. Just because I've got some, that's all. It could be mild steel, it could be even really. But this is nice stuff to machine, machine's lovely. Top and drill for 3 8 BSP. Slow things down a little bit for this, I think. What I own, I'm doing this, but it makes such a mess, especially when I start the video and I've water spraying everywhere. Not actually as hot as it looks, this stuff does smoke a lot. The nearest thing I get to it, I probably smoke there, was it good? But anyway, I better not do there. All of the swarf is coming off, I think, here's a bit of that stuff, and it's hot. I 
nice drill I was putting even on both sides. Obviously it hasn't been sharpened by me. Not the best top in the world that. It's the best one I've got. So we are now. Maybe 15.5 would have been a little bit better, but the short do see a 15. Going in now anyway. the 3 BSP on both ends. Try <laughs> four watch, John. Blended up into there quite nicely. Put a little shampoo on the end of there when I've got it in here. Definitely, definitely tidy up tight. Looks better, looks like somebody cares. Nice flat face. There's a doughty washer on there. I'm going to drill it out a little bit to get some more oil flow through it. I'll drill it out at 9.5 to about 7 mil at the minute. And that'll make a big difference in the amount of oil that's going to flow. Soft that is compared to the stainless steel. That's where the ball's going to sit in there. I think I'll just put my chamfer tool in there just to make sure that, that is a, a nice seat. So I don't expect it to be 100% oil tight, it doesn't need to be. That lovely seat, take a little whisperly cut off the front of it. Right now, ball, the seal on there, no problem at all. This is a good test for any. Important tool, actually steering this. You can do 
up in front of it, winding in. It starts backing off, that's when you get problems. Try and keep a constant pressure on it. I've got my hand on the clutch anyway, just to see it. So that's a basic body of the machine. Right, this is how this is going to work. Ball goes onto that seat, so that screws into there. Don't you wash out there to seal it. And the ball goes in, then the spring, and there'll be a rod which presses on the spring, and there'll be a thread in there. The rod will come up through there probably with a T-handle on, and you can wind it down and increase or reduce the pressure on the spring. And I can put a nut on here, tack it as a gland to stop any oil from coming up through the threads. The excess oil will come out of a hole here and go back into the tank. I'll probably just drill that and weld the fitting into it. But I don't see why it shouldn't work. I've made them before. We can put compressed air on, give it a little bit try, see what happens. I'm going to put a 10mm thread in there just for the handle, just the handle, so 8.5mm drills, tap and drill for M10, I think for the oil outlet from the valve, I've got that little off cutter stainless there. I'll drill and tap that 3 BSP, and then that can be welded onto there, and that'll allow the oil to, to float quite nicely back to the tank. If you persevere with blunt drills on stainless steel, you make it go hard, it gets hot and goes hard and then you, you have got problems. The drill looks good but it's not cutting. See the difference between a sharp drill and a blunt drill. So 
me. I've actually got that welded onto there. That's the one that the valve is going to seal onto. That screws into the bottom of there like that. And the ball drops in. And the spring goes in. And that one screws in that way around. And that's threaded. And there'll be a threaded shaft coming out of there with a the T handle on so it can preload the spring. And that's where the oil comes out of and goes back into the oil tank. We've got a unit to go into there. So the next thing is to make the spindle that goes down there and puts load on that spring. I'm not sure if that spring will be strong enough. I've got plenty of different springs to try, but it uh, it probably will be all right. We're aiming for probably 40 to 50 psi oil pressure uh, going through the turbocharger. It's not so much a pressure, it's a flow. You need a really good flow of oil. I'm going to use stainless steel for the valve spindle just because I've got some. I measure how much fame we're going to need. Great, not much space. See how much springs in that bar. I really want to centre putting in to stop it from springing away like that. Right, that's basically all the parts made now. The ball goes in, spring goes in. That's the adjuster for the pressure. That's the part I've just made. That goes into there. Then that can be turned down to put more pressure on the spring to increase the pressure. A little handle to make for the end of there. And there is a nut goes over. That nut will go over the top of there and I'll put some packing in and that will stop any oil from leaking out that way. Now we can put a little bit of compress there into there, put a gauge on and see if we can drop the pressure. Right, I'm sure you can see the little ball in the end of there. And that gets pushed off the seat by the oil pressure and the excess oil comes out of that port there. 